Hello everybody, this is Scott, and I'm back with another video, and today I'll be showing you how to properly uninstall Mac McAfee or McAfee Site Advisor. Site Advisor is a great add-on that allows you to scan your com that allows you to scan all the websites before you visit them, but uh, a lot of people don't want it, and a lot of people don't like having it, so I'll show you how to uninstall it completely. Um, you're first going to want to look for it, and I always do forced uninstall, even if it's not blocked, I just do this because I had just grew a habit of it. MCA There it is, Site Advisor. And I'm going to click Next. It's going to run through. And I always use the IOBit Uninstaller or Revo Uninstaller. Both are really good at uninstalling because it will go through and scan for extra files that may remain and clean out some of the registry items. But it will never get it all unless the program clean, cleanly uninstall uninstalls on its own, which I rarely see. Now it's going to go through. Uh, I don't want to take your stupid survey. Go away. Alright, now we're going to do a powerful scan, which will scan for all the extra items. It's going to come up with a bunch. I know it. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Yep. All of these items were left. Now, if those weren't deleted, um, here's what else you're going to do. Alright, now it's uninstalled from the computer. There's no need to restart it because it wasn't it's not uh, it, it wasn't deep into the computer as like an antivirus program would be so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up our uh, little uh, Windows Explorer and you're gonna go to your disk drive and you're gonna go to your program files and try to find which one it's at there we go uh, delete the entire folder click continue and that's all gone now we're gonna come back over here I'm gonna go programs 86 and I doubt it's in here. Be oh, see, there it is again. Now it's in here. Oh, there we go. The action cannot be completed because this file is open in another program. Now here's what we're gonna do. See, if I try to hit it again, we're gonna click cancel. We're gonna get another. T we're gonna get a little tool, and I use it, and it's called Unlocker. Unlocker, and it helps delete programs that don't uh, like it. Certain programs just don't want to delete. They can't be deleted, and they just don't want to be deleted, I guess you could say. But, uh, so, Unlocker... Ah, crap, Cena installer. Unlocker is a very clean program that allows me to, uh, force... Basically, Windows has a security measure built in that says, you cannot delete these files because they're important to your computer, and we don't want to have the chance of damaging it. But Unlocker says no, you don't need that, and it tries to override it. So... There we go. Only got what I needed. Later, because I don't trust their installer. Wow, I have a lot of crap over here. And Unlocker. And it's going to try and force Windows to override its security measures to per so that way it's forcefully uninstalled. Advanced, no. No. Man, yeah, why not? Alright. Now, it's a really light program. It's only like a couple kilobytes. So, uh, it's actually quite a few. I think maybe at most it's a meg. But uh, now we're going to run it. And uh, Unlocker is truly like our best friend. All right, it's got all of these. It's gonna try to browse for. So we have to go to computer, local disk, programs 86, and then we go to find our McAfee folder. And that's what we're after. And help you deal with this project. Choose the action you want to perform, and we're gonna tell it to delete it. The object cannot be deleted. Do you want to perform this? Request the operator. Okay, now what it's saying is that I can't do it. This is probably because of McAfee's uh, ability. It just it doesn't want to uninstall. You'll always see this with this products, and I'm surprised Unlocker couldn't force it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reboot the system and see if Unlocker afterwards can um, de fully delete it. I'll just paste the two uh, scenes together so you can be able to see it. So I will be right back. There we go. Okay, so I was able to delete it. I just restarted and I had Unlocker running and it deleted it. So if you want proof, just come into the recycle bin and we will see. And here's the folder, and uh, it's all in there. 
That's one of the folders. I gotta find the other one now. Where did it go? Oh, it didn't want to stay in a folder. So all of these are the McAfee crap. It's all in there. So we're actually gonna just empty the recycle bin, and now we're not completely done. Because uh, McAfee, as you saw during the uninstallation process, had a lot of registry items left over. This tells me right now that the... Oh, there it is. Seriously. I, I've already uninstalled you. What, what's not wanting to uninstall completely? Delete the temporary files. That's what's not going to delete right now. Alright, we'll, st we'll deal with those in a minute. It's probably because they're still hooked to the registry items, which I will show you how to deal with right now. We go run reg edit. You go Microsoft registry editor. And we're just going to look at our software. I opened up the wrong one, didn't I? Yeah, yeah I did. Wait, maybe not. We're trying to find them. And I don't want to sit here all day, but it doesn't look like it's then there. Okay, so it's not in the HK. We're going to go in the user, and we're going to go software. And uh, it should be around here somewhere. Not in there. It's a very annoying process, but it's very quick once you start when you use this a lot. I don't know why jump shot's in here. Seriously, where did it go? I don't want to deal with finding this thing. Where did it go? Whoops. I'm like, uh, it's either I'm not seeing it or I'm going too fast. It might be under Intel name, but I really doubt that. Well, this is essentially what you're going to do. We're going to have to try and find it. And I'm just going to type in M C A. Wait, I know why. I told it to search in that key. View. We're just going to shrink all this, and now we're going to. I just did this. Fine. It's going to search the entire registry now and tell me where it is, because I could not find it. Okay. Wow. That thing must have wrecked my computer. Nope. has a random extension all right so I am um, yep this is one okay where's the next one don't do this if you have uh, McAfee like antivirus installed because it's still gonna probably be in there and you'll probably want to keep these things. I don't know why you're using a McAfee product. Uninstalling those things is a pain for any IT guy. Because they will get hooked into your registry so deeply that you pretty much have to wipe it. Uh, Norton was really bad back in the day. You literally could not get rid of it. There it is, Internet Registry, and then McAfee's folder, which is going away now. Idiots. There we go. Now McAfee should be gone from my computer. It's plague is gone it's on your Internet Explorer. So now, really, you suck. Skip this one. You suck. All right, so almost everything is being deleted except for a couple of them. This is why I hate them so much. But uh, this is like truly what this is. The process you have to go through if you want to fully wipe it. Uh, basically, just keep going up here and then going uh, find next, and it's going to keep searching for McAfee and try to find you. It's all over the place. Wait. No. 
That is the trust seal. I actually want to hold on to that one. Uh, my system recognizes it. Oh, download McAfee.com. Congratulations. Delete. This is truly how annoying deleting your registry is. You have to find every little thing. I don't even have... This isn't even a website. <laughs> I've never even been there. McAfee Antivirus 2007.com Yeah, that sounds legit. Sounds like something I would go to. Alright, it's here again. Alright, well, I'm just gonna stop the video here. It's a very long process just to delete things. I've, I've already done this. On several occasions. What? But, uh, yeah, that is essentially what you're gonna have to go through. You're gonna have to delete every little thing in the registry. And, uh... If it doesn't uninstall the first time, try restarting it one more time to make sure all the registry items actually kick in, and then it should be able to be uninstalled. So thank you very much for watching this longer video. I wasn't expecting to be this long. And if you have any questions, please post them in the comments below, and I will be back. Thank you very much for watching, and goodbye.